Compulsory Education Basic School The compulsory age at which children start school is six years old. At that age, all children have to start a nine-year basic school. Basic school is a single structure comprising both primary and lower secondary general education. It includes three educational cycles. The first two are taught by generalist teachers, for the most part, while the third cycle is taught by specialist subject teachers. Public basic schools are set up by local communities. All children get a place at a school in their respective catchment area. Parents may enrol their children in a school outside their catchment area, in a private school, or even decide to homeschool their child. The widespread network of public schools and their branches grants children access to a basic education. More than 750 basic schools, branches included, deliver the regular educational programme, and almost 60 specialised basic schools, special units at mainstream schools as well as specialised institutions for SEN students, deliver the adapted educational programme. It is important to observe that smaller school branches are not only educational institutions, but often also assume the role of community hubs. Consistent with the growth of generational cohorts, the number of basic school students has been growing too. On average, there are 20 students per class. The upper limit is 28 students. The basic school programme is determined by timetable and subject curricula for compulsory and optional subjects, as well as various guidelines and concepts. In grades 1 and 2, teachers assess the progress of students with descriptive marks. From grade 3 onwards, teachers evaluate the achievement of standards of knowledge and award numerical marks. Students sit compulsory national assessments at the end of grades 6 and 9, the outcomes of which have no formal consequences on the student's final mark or progression. By law, it is not allowed to rank schools based on the results of national assessments. In line with the EU average, almost a quarter of all lessons are dedicated to reading, writing and literature, and almost a sixth of all lessons to mathematics. Compared to their peers in Europe, Slovenian students at lower secondary level attend a greater number of lessons in the natural sciences. Likewise, students also exercise a lot in Slovenia relative to their European peers, and every school has a gymnasium. The number of non-compulsory activities and subjects makes Slovenian basic schools front-runners in Europe. Along with compulsory subjects, compulsory optional subjects and class community discussion time, all schools must provide the activities of the extended programme. These include morning care for first graders and after-school classes for students from grades 1 to 5, extracurricular activities, non-compulsory optional subjects and supplementary and remedial lessons. Every school should have a library and a computer classroom and must also offer meals to students. Basic schools are sensitive to the socio-economic status of students, allowing all students to rent textbooks from a school fund and offer free meals according to a family's income. The majority of SEN students attend mainstream classes. In line with the paradigm of inclusive education, basic schools adapt the provision of their instruction to the needs of SEN students and, at the same time, teachers and counselling staff provide further professional support. The door of the counselling service is open to all children, teachers and parents at all schools and kindergartens.